around? I think so. If you like 80s and 90s and a little bit of humidity or a lot of humidity, then the next seven days are for you. Here's the almanac for today. Where did we land? 83 degrees, our average high 78. So about five degrees or so above that Our low this morning. 67. We were six degrees above our average low of 61. No precip recorded today and we were far off from that record set over 100 years ago. 95 degrees in 1880. Current temperatures right now 75 degrees in Norfolk. This is closer to our average high for this time of year. Everybody 75 in Smithfield 76 right now in Newport News 71. Good evening to our neighbors in Melfa. Also watch approved both sitting at 71 degrees right now. 76 in Conway and 74 in Moyoc, North Carolina and in Virginia Beach as well. For tonight, temperatures dropping down into the lower 70s, some upper 60s possible under mostly clear skies, but we will be watching for an isolated shower or storm. Skyview right now over Hampton. No concerns at all. Very quiet, serene evening there as we look toward areas of the peninsula. Speaking of storms, take a look at this. We do have a few off to the north and west. There was a severe thunderstorm warning associated with this storm right around Petersburg that has expired at 1115. We're continuing to watch it move to the east anywhere between 30 and 40 miles per hour. Now I'll keep you updated on this. Going to keep an eye on that. We see it has lost a little bit of that lightning, so some of that energy has been lost with that storm, but we do have a few storms back off to the west as well. By 1145, Futurecast is showing a little bit of some rain. Looks like maybe some more moderate than heavy rain. Could be some lightning associated with it as well. Again, up toward the north, back toward 95 as well. Most areas staying dry. Into early tomorrow morning, mainly dry. A few clouds do start to filter into the area. And then early tomorrow morning, daybreak starts at 6. Timestamp says 630 there toward the top right of your screen. A few showers could produce a pockets of some heavier rain, but most of that looks to be offshore. We'll clear out heading into midday tomorrow. Temperatures back into the lower 80s and we'll continue to rise from there to right around 90 degrees. I think some areas do get into the 90s again with the humidity. We do have another chance for some storms across the board for tomorrow, so pack the rain gear right next to the beach towels right next to the sunscreen. Have your umbrella by Monday. Similar story on Memorial Day, slightly cooler, low risk of a storm, but we're still dealing with the humidity across the area for your holiday. So if you do have a three day weekend overall, it's looking mainly dry, but we just have the chance for a couple of spotty showers across the area. Here's that seven day forecast. Everyone hot and humid for tomorrow. Third day of a long weekend. If you have a long weekend on Monday again, slightly cooler, but still still above normal right around where we landed for today with a low chance for a rain shower again and that's kind of what we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way into next weekend. So we're going to end off May with each day having a low chance for rain showers. And you're seeing those temperatures tick back up, Jacqueline, back to the low to mid 90s. I know Jacqueline is smiling. You guys can't see that right now. You know, but it's then, exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> you know, it's going to feel more like July than the end of May heading into June, everybody. But we're definitely going to be enjoying the at least low chances for showers.